Hi everyone, it's Michael Krulik with Avid here with another Tips and Tricks with Avid Media Composer, or what I'd like to say is more of a, did you know this was in the Avid Media Composer software? Today we want to look at the selection tools in your timeline. You do have your traditional select to the left, select to the right, and at your in and out points. These are buttons that can be mapped to your timeline or to keys. So you'll notice that when I select to the left or to the right, it's taking into consideration the tracks that are active along with what's in common wherever the CTI or your blue line is. So if I deselect tracks, you'll see that those tracks with the video inside do not get selected. You'll also see that it is selecting filler. Now what happens here is if I do move any of these tracks, filler being selected could potentially wipe out your edits. So if you hold down Option, did you know? Hold down Option when you select your left or select to the right, and you'll see that filler does not get selected. So you're not going to be wiping out anything with the extra filler. So that's a really nice feature. I also want to point out that if you go to your timeline settings, under the Edit tab, there's a selection for Select Filler with Segment Tools. So if I deselect that, you'll notice that if I am in my segment mode, I can choose my clips, but I can't choose filler. So I don't accidentally grab filler and again, possibly wipe out clips in my timeline. What that also does is if I select and lasso a range in the timeline, you'll see that filler is not selected as well. So again, if you turn on or off in the timeline settings, the select filler with segment tools, depending on what you want it to do, now if I lasso, you'll see that it does select any filler inside of that. Now other features that have been included with Media Composer, and some of this has evolved through the years, if you right click in your timeline, there is a select function. And select here also lets me select everything to the left or to the right as well. But we've also added some other features in the select tool right here. So select anything with clips with the same source clip color. So if you've gone in and you have colored your clips, let's say I want to select uh, all of the clips here that are teal and maybe yellow as well. I'll do a shift select. And now with both of those selected, when I right click, I can say select everything with the same source clip color from what I have selected. And you'll notice they all get highlighted. Now when I right click, I can say create a sequence based on that selection. So the cool thing about this is when I go in and select maybe uh, audio or, or VFX or things that I need for certain turnovers, I can select everything that I want and say create a sequence just based on that selection. We'll go ahead and drop that into one of my bins here and you'll notice when I bring that sequence up, it's only those colors, the source clips of what I've selected are now put into a specific timeline. So fast and easy to create sequences based on a certain selection. Now going back to the original sequence here, I go back to my selection tools, you'll see that there is a select clips with no source clip color. So let's say you want to select things that don't have a source clip color on it. Select offline clips, an instant way to see what clips are in your sequence that are offline. If I select that, well, I have no offline clips whew, in the sequence. So I'm pretty good right there. We also have included in the most recent version of Media Composer 2020, select muted clips. So if you do have clips that are selected and muted, I'm just gonna select a few right here and just mute those. Again, another did you know, you can mute clips in your timeline. So I do have some selected, but now I can select all of my muted clips and quickly unmute them. So I'm not having to search through the entire sequence to find all of my muted clips. So that's fast. We also have the ability to select clips with the same local clip color. If you've gone in and locally colored your clips, you can select those. And reverse lets me choose everything that I hadn't selected. So if you want to choose the few clips that you don't want, you can reverse those and see all of the clips that you do want. So some nice features here in Select. Now I do want to also point out, you may notice when I'm in my 
segment mode, in my selection mode, my selections were actually coming up bright yellow. This might be different from Media Composer editors who have seen that everything usually in a selection is gray. You'll notice now in the fast menu, and this was put into Media Composer in version, I believe, 2019.9, you can now select in segment mode to use either the default color or a custom color. And also in the marking in and out selection in your timeline, you can say default color or use a custom color. So you'll see if I go back to my default color, that is where the gray comes in. But again, if I go to my fast menu and say I want to choose, let's choose maybe a little green color. Everything now turns green for my selection tools, but you'll also see when I mark in and out, my color is this vibrant purple that actually has gone in through the mark in and out selection. And I can choose here what color I want represented there. So a quick overview of some new selection tools and being able to color code your selections and your timeline with Media Composer. So stay tuned for some new tips and tricks and did you know in Media Composer coming up soon. Have a great day.